Hi, Aaron from AOP Tech, and today I'm going to talk about the three different ways to copy and download all of your school Google account data. So here I am in my Google Drive file, and I can select folders, I can select files, I can use the control key to select individual files and folders, or I can use the shift key to select all. I also can draw a big box and select them. Either way, you get to where you have selected the files. You can then right click and you have the ability to download. Or you come up here to the little snowman and you have the option to click download as well. What Google is going to do is going to take your files and so compress them into a zip file. It's going to download directly to your device from there. You can move those files onto an external hard drive, a thumb drive. You can upload them to another platform or another Google Drive. This is a, a great solution if you have a small number of files or a small number of folders. Um, what's really nice about this is it can maintain that organizational folder structure that you have. Now keep in mind, this will only work on files that you are the owner or editor for. Uh, none of the files in the shared with me box will come over, as will none of the files that you are a viewer only. You must be the owner or editor of a file in order to copy it. Like I said, this is a great way for small numbers of files. But let's say you want to take out all of your data you have a lot of files and folders to do there are two tools that i'm going to recommend and i actually recommend you use both of them the first location that you should go is in your school account you're going to log in and go to takeout.google.com transfer now you're going to need to have access to another google account or another school account you're going to enter those that information here and when you do that You'll notice the send code button turns on. Go ahead and hit send code. You will need to be able to have access to check that second or destination account's email address. From there, you, once you check that account, you will get an email asking you to verify your account. It's going to ask you to click to get the confirmation code. Once you do that, then you will have the ability to transfer your Google Drive and Gmail contents. The nice part about this option is there is no downloading and uploading. It goes right from one account to the other. The other nice part about this, as is true with every method we're going to discuss today, is all of your data will remain on your current school account. You will not be removing anything. You are simply making a copy of that data. The next option is to, in your school account, go to takeout.google.com. Notice there is no slash or transfer on the end of this URL. From here, this is where you can actually select all of your Google data. Now, certainly you may want to take it all or you may be only interested in, for example, your calendar, your bookmarks, or even your contacts. Now, as you scroll through here, if I'm going to come down to Google Drive, you'll notice that you do have options. So you can decide, for example, Google will take all of your Google Drive documents and convert them into Microsoft documents, or you can specify PDFs. Same things with drawings, uh, any presentations. Coming over to, we do have some options in advanced settings. And then underneath this option, you can actually select individual folders or files that you want to bring over, which is really nice. And you can see that there is a lot of different Google products from which to choose from. If you're not interested in one, you can, of course, deselect that. Coming all the way down to the very bottom, you will see the blue Next Steps button. From here, Google asks you to choose how you are going to receive your data. So if you would like it to send you a link, now this is going to be an email to your current school email address. So you just want to keep that in mind for timing purposes. You can also add it to your current Drive account, to Dropbox, OneDrive, or to Box. It's going to ask you to select the file type. I recommend the zip file and the 2 gigabit range. You're going to go ahead and click the Create the Export button. Once you do that, it's going to take anywhere from a couple hours to possibly a couple days. You will then receive an email with a link to go and download your files and information. Now you can download that and save it to a computer, a hard drive, or whatever is available. So this has been Aaron for AOP Tech. Thank you so very much. If you do have questions, please email us at techcoaches at archphila-oce.org. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.